Good, <clears throat> good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Um, so far, so good. So far, so good? Yes. All right, excellent. All right. Um, how was your day today? Um complicated. Really? I, I had a lot of requests from my boss. Oh. And I have to work a lot. Oh, is that That's right? Just today. Just today. Okay. Just well, today. Yeah. I mean, there are days like that, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the boss asks for a lot, but you know, yeah, I'm, it's not every day, so I think I think well you'll be okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you. And you can just wind down after the class, just relax. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Um, I don't see the rest of you. I just see Rafael. Hello, Rafael. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good everyone. evening. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. How was your day today? Um, well, very busy uh, is uh, end, uh, end to the month, and i making the reports from, for the different areas. The end of the month? Yes, uh, it's end of September, and uh, it's complicated. Uh, you you you're doing is, you're doing it for the end of the month. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. It's, uh, beginning of October, but mm -hmm. I I am uh, closing the past month. Oh, okay, okay, all right. So yes. you have to do the closure. Yes. Mm, okay, I see. I understand. Okay. Yeah. Beginning of the month, ends of the month, they're always very hectic. I understand. Yeah. All right. Um, good to see that many of you are connecting now. Great. I can see more faces. Welcome. Welcome to everybody. Um, okay, so I see about half the class, maybe even less than half. Uh, Okay, so um, all right, so if we can turn on the camera so that we can uh, take attendance, okay? All right, guys, so I'll give you a little bit of time there so that you can you can turn on your camera so I can take the attendance. All right, guys, um, here we go. Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. No? Eh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Present. Wonderful. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Mauricio Menjibar Caballero. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaya. Umaña. Present teacher. All right, wonderful. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Emerson Ulises? 
Not here, Emerson. Hmm. Okay, Ulises Torres Torres. Present. Wonderful, thank you very much. Iliana Rebeca Carpio. Iliana Rebeca Carpio. Not here. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Jorge Antonio Sanchez Quiñones. Okay. Jorge, eh, Jorge, oh no, sorry. Uh, Jorge, no, sorry. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Oh, wow. Lots of people missing. Jose Carlos Argueta Romero. Present. Wonderful, thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Jose Bernardo, no, sorry. Jose, Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Osman Atilio Serrano. Okay. I think I think your your camera froze for a moment, but yes, we 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 heard you. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Excellent. Thank you. Um, Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. No. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Presentation. Wonderful. Mara Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present. Present. Wonderful. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Wonderful. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Present. Thank you. Um, ah, there you are. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. Sigfrido Ernesto Gomez Guinea. Present. Wonderful. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Wendy. Thank you. Eh, Mirna Elizabeth Baringa Rivas. Present, teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. And, our, and Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Okay. All right, guys and girls, um, we are going to begin. So yesterday, yeah, yesterday, we were talking about um, conflict, right? Conflict that uh, that happens at work. Um, and we decided that conflict is something that is inevitable. It always happens at work, at the workplace. And there are different reasons why it can happen. Do you remember some of the reasons that we spoke about yesterday? Yes, poor communication. Mm -hmm. Good, poor communication. What else? Personality style. Personality style. Sorry, personal what? A style. Personal mm -hmm. style. 
Mm -hmm. um, did we talk about or, personal style? Oh, yes. Personal styles. Yes, yes personal styles. Uh huh. Yes. What else? Miscommunication. Mis yes, miscommunication. What else? Um, poor communication. Mm, poor communication. What other reasons? We talk about the power struggle. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, a power struggle, right? So that would be um, like um, a more like a um, corrupt or fraudulent intense, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So because you're struggling to have the power, then people end up doing corrupt things. Right. Because all they care about is the power. What else? Any other reasons? We can also have conflict of interest or uh, values too, right? Okay, so uh, people have different values um, and that creates, or yeah, or interest, right? And that creates um, a, um, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, resistance, like a resistance to want to cooperate with the other person, right? Because you feel that you are not on the same page, right? You don't um, think the same way. You don't have the same values, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, good. So today we're going to be looking now at conflict management management styles, okay? So um, the other one that we were looking at was uh, common conflicts at work in general. But now let's look at the conflicts of management styles. Okay. Um, so let, tell me if um, you are able to see my screen. Give me a moment. Able to see it? Yes, I can see okay. it. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So there are three, sorry, there are five uh, different conflict management styles. Okay. There's avoid, accommodate, compromise, collaborate and compete, okay? What I want you to do is you're going to be matching this these different styles, or yeah, to the definitions, okay? And of course, I'm going to put you into breakout rooms so that you can work probably with um, one or two partners um, and try to figure out what is the definition of each uh, management style, okay? Um, are the instructions clear for you? Are they clear or not very clear? Yes, no, please tell me. Yes, teacher. Yeah? I understand. Yes, I understood. Okay, wonderful. Okay, um, just give me a moment. Sorry, guys, my, my computer is very slow today. Let me try this again. Oh, 
Okay, um, you should be getting it soon. Okay, so you should have gotten it now. Yeah, you have it. Everybody has it in the in the chat. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to uh, put you into breakout rooms. Um. Okay, so there's going to be about two or three people in each room. And I'm going to give you about five minutes. Here we go. So great is a record for the needs of older person to solve a conflict. This record. I think the number two is collaborate. Yes. Or 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 three collaborate because this say work is work together to find uh -huh. a man. What was this? Satisfaction solution. Meeting the needs or demand of the other uh, person. For example, the last one, the uh, fight, I think is the uh, avoid. Avoid. Employee don't talk to each other. Don't dispute the conflict. This is avoid. Maybe number two is a compromise. I will start a conflict by mutual consensus. Compromise. Compromise. First one, I think, it. For the person to solve. Come. 
So, you can hear me. So, I think the number four, sorry, the number three could be um, collaborate. The number four is collaborate, you think, you think. Number three. Number three. Uh, the, the... the pronunciation. This is collaborate. The pronunciation of what? Uh, after avoid. Oh. Um. Accommodate. I don't know. A accommodate. A accommodate. Accommodate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you guys finished or do you need more time? We need more time. Yes. You need more time? Yes. Yep. We have two, three, and number three, number four. Okay. And one third thing is accommodate. Three. No, the number four. Number four. Yeah. Meeting. We're hundred percent sure about it. But... Okay. That is one hundred percent. And number three is compromise. Yeah, or not? Both part work together. Uh, for me, uh, it could be three, uh, collaborate, number three, collaborate, and number four, a compromise, I think. What do you think, Sir Frida? Um, I have some doubts. Um, because the four for me could be accommodate, and this number two for me is compromise. Compromise? Yep. Is uh, number three, number four? Uh, for me, or compromise? It's compromise. number two. Mm. Are you guys finished or do you need more time? Need yeah, one more time. Not yet, teacher. Teacher. Not finished? Not finished. No. Not finished, no. teacher. You're not finished. Okay. Do you need help or something? Mm. Uh. Uh 
Anything else that you want to ask about? Uh huh. Uh, Wendy, yeah. the first one, what is the concept, the first one, about? What? It's a boy. A boy. It's a, num it's a number five? Yeah. Okay. I see. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, number two, accommodate. Yes. I miss only what what number? Mm. Ya le digo. Number four le dije. Four. Ajá. Uh -huh. Porque dice acordar o resolver un conflicto mediante consensión mutua. Number two. Uh, number two. Number two dice sí, va. Y number Ajá. four dice satisfacer las necesidades o exigencias de la otra persona y no, no satisfacer las nuestras. No sé. Ajá. Uh, for me, then. Eh, Acomodé. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, number four, accommodate. Yes. Number two, number four. Sí. For me, a number four is four. Compromise. Com compromise. Compromise. Un compromise. Compromise. For me, because uh, say. Agreeing to settle a conflict by mutual concession. Okay. O sea, acordar resolver un conflicto mediante concesión mutua. Entonces, y el otro va. The first one. Eh. Acom acomodate. Acomodate. Y okay. José. Second. Uh -huh. Second one, compromise. Yeah. Third one, collaborate. Collaborate. Sally. Okay, can we check? In number four? In number four, I don't know. I don't have. Tengo dos accommodate. Number one and number four. Dice, miren. Dice. Puede ser viceversa las, las, las respuestas o tienen que ser pares. I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? Es que si tienen que ser las respuestas pares o impares. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo no sé qué pares e impares? Um, según, según lo que va por number, number one con number five. O sea, hay cinco respuestas y cinco, o sea, cinco estilos. In and, and, five, and, and five five descriptions. So you just yeah, me confundí toda, Tisha. <laughs> Why? Me confundí. What's the problem? Oh, 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 come on. 
what is the problem? Second. What is the problem? Only, only, only read the concept. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, we're gonna, I'm going to return you to the main okay. room. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay, are we all ready now to check? Are we ready? Not ready. Yeah. Yes, teacher, are ready. Excellent. We are ready. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so let's check. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Okay, so let's talk first of all. Let's go in order. Avoid. Which one would be avoid? I think number five. Mm, number five. Number five? Yes. The last yeah, I agree, number five. Yes, of course. Avoid. What, how do you say avoid in Spanish? Evitar. Evitar, Evitar. Right? Yeah. So you avoid someone, it means that you don't want to talk to them, right? Um, you, especially because you feel that there is going to be a problem. You're going to have a conflict if you talk to each other. Okay. Yeah. Accommodate. 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 First one. Number one. Number one. Yes, first one. Maybe. Number four. <laughs> yes, number yes, four. Accommodate. Number four. I can pick number four for number four. Did you? Yeah. Yes. Accommodate. So uh, when you accommodate someone, it means that you are you're you have their Relaxing. interest that you have their interest in mind. Like you're not thinking about yourself, you're thinking about the other person. Okay? So okay. that so that's yeah, so that you accommodate. You you accommodate yourself to their needs. Compromise. Number 3. Number 2, compromise. Number 2, mm -hmm. teacher. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Number 2. Number two. Good. Number two, compromise. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that some of you may have been confused with this word, compromise. This is what we call a false friend. Okay. Do you know what a false friend is? Have you guys ever heard of a false friend? In, in terms of, 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 of English, not like, in terms of, of, of um, English, English learning. Do you know what a false, false friend, false? Yeah, false friend. Do you know what a false friend is? Amigo falso? No. It's... Yes, <laughs> but, but in terms of, of English learning, do you know what a false friend is? 
No, in English. Learning. No. Okay, so false friends in English learning refers to words that look very similar to, uh, they look very similar in two different languages, but they mean different things. Okay, to give you an example, uh, embarrassed. Embarrassed is not the same as embarazo. Right, it's not the same thing. It looks the same, but it's not the same thing. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah? The same thing with like actually. Actually <laughs> is not the same as actual. At the moment. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, so it's 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 not the same thing. Right? So those are false friends. Those are words that look the same in two different languages, but they mean different things. Okay? So compromise is a false friend. Compromise does not mean compromiso. Okay? Yeah. All right? So the, the, I, I, I think maybe some of you may have been a little confused because you were thinking that compromise was compromiso, but it's not. What is compromise in Spanish? Comprometer. No. Let's commit. No. Let's commit. I don't understand your question, teacher. What does it mean compromise in Spanish? Compromiso. Because it's no es compromiso. Compromise. Wow. Yeah. Nice. No. Maybe, maybe. Comprometerse. No, comprometerse is co commit. Maybe be a right for situation. I relacioné. Oh, sorry. Obligación. Entrega. No. no. I think como that's is. Uh, mm -hmm. Como acuerdo. Ajá. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's more yeah. like um, Agree, agreeing. A una it's cuerda. more like agreement. It's like agreement. Yeah, it's like an agreement, right? So we would say like compromise is llegar a un acuerdo. Mm -hmm. One treat. Okay. Yeah. Hmm? One treat. One treat. Trat. Oh, uh, a treaty. A treaty. Mm -hmm. We can now uh, a, a deal. We would say more like a deal to make a deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So that's why this one, that, that's why number two is compromise because it's agreeing to settle a conflict by mutual consensus. So it means the two of you agree that you are going to settle the, the 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 conflict you say okay no problem no problem for me no problem for you that's a compromise es un acuerdo. Uh -huh. exactly it, okay. yeah but it's yeah um this is but these are verbs okay these are verbs so it's no es un acuerdo sino que es uh, llegar a un acuerdo o acordar algo pero en el, en el sentido de acordar algo de que, de que vamos a llegar, a, los dos vamos a, a poner nuestra parte y vamos a llegar a un término medio. ¿Ok? Sí, es que cuando, yo entiendo que cuando se habla de, de, compromet, de comprometerse o compromiso, bueno, en ese, comprometerse es cuando una persona realmente, eh, decimos en lenguaje, lenguaje salvadoreño, bueno, él, él es muy comprometido con su trabajo, ¿verdad? bien entregado. Pero entonces debemos de entender de que un compromiso es un acuerdo que se hace entre ambas partes. ¿Sí? Um, sí, um, correcto, pero compromiso tiene, en español tiene un sentido de que, um, de que siento una obligación. 
Ah, exacto. Uh -huh. Así mientras, es que, mientras que esto no es de que siento una obligación, sino que de que um, yo tengo mis... Um, mis... Uh, ¿Cuál sería la palabra? Tengo mis... Um, exigencia, digamos, y la otra persona también tiene sus exigencias y decidimos vamos a llegar a un, a un término medio donde ni yo pierdo mucho, ni él pierde mucho. Un acuerdo, yo, entonces. entonces. Ajá, exacto, es un acuerdo. Un acuerdo. Exacto, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. I'm clear. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, ok. So, that's why... Acuerdo is actually agreement. That's why the word ag agreeing. That's why it says here agreeing. Because over here, let's see. Um, so that's why it says. Uh, yeah. That's why we have the word agreeing here because it's an agreement. Agreement literally means acuerdo. Okay. Agreement. An agreement is un acuerdo. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, so enough of that word. Let's continue with collaborate. Collaborate. Which one is collaborate? Number three. Number three. Oh, three. Mm -hmm. Yes. Collaborate is uh, both parties work together to find a mutual satisfying solution, okay? So this one is uh, similar to compromise, but collaborate is more like we are in the same, the same team and we're working together. Whereas this one is like we're on opposite teams and we've come to the middle so that things are okay between us. So in both of them, we're working together, but in this one, we're working in the same direction. This one is more like you're working in opposite directions, but you've decided to come to the middle. Okay. And finally, the most difficult one, compete. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to get that one. Compete. Compete. The, one, the last one. Yes, exactly. There's, no, there's nothing else, right? Yeah. You can <laughs> compete. Okay, good. So it's a disregard for the needs of the other person to solve a conflict. Okay, so in other words, I don't care about the other person. I care about me. I want to be first. I want I, I want my needs met, so I compete against the other person. I don't care about solving the problem. I care about me. Okay? okay. Any questions about that? So, so far, so good? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. All right, good. Yes, teacher. Excellent, okay. All right, so it seems like you guys um, understand this pretty good. Now, um, I want you now to think about um, A situ uh, yeah, I want you to think about two situations in which you had a conflict at your work. Okay? I'm sure there must be at least two situations at your workplace where there was a conflict. All right? Minimum two. Right? Okay. So I want you to um, think about what was the um, the management style? Okay, how did you manage it? Was it something that you, it was a, an avoidance, like you just decided to avoid it? Did you accommodate for it? Did you make a compromise? 
or did you collaborate? Or instead, did you compete? Okay, how did you manage that, those two conflicts? Do you have the two conflicts in your mind? Can you think of the two, the two conflicts, the two, the two situations? Yes, no? Yes, I got it, teacher. Yeah? We had to, we had to speak about two example uh, about the conflicts mm -hmm. and then we had to to do an exercise uh, about what management manage, management style we mm -hmm. use to resolve the conflict exactly yeah okay or not results resolve it <laughs> maybe so, maybe <laughs> maybe yes. right sometimes the conflict does not get solved right but you, but it's but one way or the other you manage it right so even if you don't solve it you manage it in a certain way because manage means the way that you uh, approach something the way that you deal with it okay yes yes, All yes. Right. i remember uh, around Four months ago, uh, we had a uh, a conflict. Conflict. Uh -huh. uh, for example, two two guys fight fight mm. in the floor production. Ooh, like yes. fighting, like uh, real fighting. Yeah, fighting, fighting, wow. very hard, very hard. Oh my goodness! And, okay. and then yes, and and then for politics, politics, uh, the company has to finish the labor with them. Oh, their contract. Yeah, the contract. They, oh, okay. So they put a stop to the contract. Wow. So yeah. in this in this example, uh, the result was possible. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, sometimes se, se pudo resolver, I mean, pero no, no, no fue lo correcto, la verdad, pero, pero bueno. Yeah, well, it's I mean one way or the other, like I said, it's a, uh, there's always a res result of the conflict, not yes. a resolution necessarily, but but there's a result. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. It's, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, Asma, you're gonna say something else? No, uh, this uh, this happened when the company don't uh, attend the problem with employees. Mm -hmm. At time, mm -hmm. yes, yeah. that that, that it, yeah, it it can happen. You're right. The super the supervisor had to identify identify, identify. Uh, some problem between identify some problem with your employees, mm -hmm. with their employees, with their mm -hmm. their employees. Yes. Yeah, that's right. That's true. Okay, so I'm gonna put you in the same group that you were before. Okay, some of you had just two people in the group, some people had three. You're gonna go back in the same group that you were before, okay? And you're gonna be sharing the stories, okay? The two conflicts and how they were managed. Not necessarily solved, but managed. Remember, there's always a result. There's always a result. Maybe it's a res resolution, maybe it's not, okay? Do we understand what to do? Uh, can you repeat, uh, teacher, please? Yes. So I, I I asked you before to think about the two, two conflicts that you encountered at your job, at your workplace, right? You have those two ideas, those two conflicts in your mind, Kevin? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. One with my co-workers and one with my, my boss. Perfect. Okay. Now, I want you to think about how it was managed. What was the style? Did you avoid it? Uh, was, was there a compromise? Was there a com uh, did you compete, right? There was a competition there. What was the style of management of that conflict? Okay. I got it. Yeah. 
All right. So are the instructions clear for everybody? Yes. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to return you back to your uh, group that you had before. Oh. Hold on. Oh, never mind. I can't return you back here, but for some reason it erased. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have a, a new group. Okay, so here we go. Let's open the rooms. Edwin, are you having problems getting in? Edwin? Edwin? Hi guys. Hello. Hi. Emerson, uh, are you there? Well, um, in my game, I had um conflict with my well the boss of the department of settings and um, i am like i am planning i am department of, of planning i'm the boss of of department of planning and the department of settings settings um the was sales, sales department. Oh, the the sales, sales department. department. Yeah, sales okay. department. The sales department um, uh, told me, Kevin, um, it is not possible because we are selling a lot of a lot, and you you don't. Uh, you aren't give me uh, giving me the product and and was and it was uh, very complicated and it was a compete or compete I don't know how can I pronounce compete bit because we have we we have th these triggers for the needs for other department right and what about you Elvi? so if uh, i talking about uh, my work and uh, my case i am a con, uh, con manager and i work with many department department of the company. What and is the department that you work? Um, I am the account manager. Oh, okay, okay. 
we are we work with uh, I so I am in charge of a production department and I have to review the invoice as a support in the accounting department and I need to review the inventory inventory. So uh, uh, sometimes I have conflict with all of that department, but I think the I have more conflict with the production department when they sent me uh, I lost some items to complete the production or let me I can ship this uh, purchase order and I have to I have to tell to the client um, that uh, I have to uh, um, promise uh, with the production department and mm -hmm. collaborate with them. How, how do you solve? How how do you solve when your production department? Uh, is in conflict with you. Uh, Sorry. How how do you solve when you pro when your production production department is in conflict with with you? So uh, the first you talk with them or or how how do you do? What do you uh, do? The first step I have to talk with the manager in the production department. And hi, teacher. Hi, hi teacher. Hi. Uh, I have a I have a a big problem in in. The problem in, in my work, but okay. my co my coworker no corresponding. Your coworker is not what? No, I estoy hablando y no contestan. Oh, Carlos. Podría cambiarme. Ah. Podría cambiarme. Oh, the... es que estaba con otros también creo, si no me equivoco. Ok, cuando eso pase, eh, Mauricio, no se quede solamente esperando hasta que llegue, sino que ve usted que hay un botoncito que dice, bueno. aquí mismo en el, en el, en el, uh, en la falla reducida, dice, hay un botón que dice pedir ayuda. Uh... Si no me equivoco, está uh -huh. en... Uh -huh. Un signo de interrogación, ask for help. Ajá, ask for help. Entonces ahí uh -huh. usted aprieta y me llega la notificación, no importa en qué grupo es usted, me llega la notificación que Mauricio en tal grupo está pidiendo ayuda. Entonces puedo yo uh -huh. venir a auxiliarlo. Yeah. Ok. Uh, pero ya tengo el conflicto que voy a desarrollar. Ok. Ya lo hice. Ok. Um, I will I will send you to another group then, okay?
So as I told you, that that was the last the last time that I had a that I remember a conflict. But we we work in a in a great place. Me too. Oh, yeah. One conflict in like four years. It's it's a good deal. It's that's not a bad deal. Yes. So you guys are finished. I'm guessing. Yes, Miss. We were talking about the situation that or bad experience that we have. Okay. Um, All right. Wonderful. You're finished then, right? Yeah, I believe. Okay. Perfect. I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay, all right, guys and girls. Uh, would anybody like to share your story? Anybody would like to share what you talked about with your group? Mm -hmm. Yes. Me, me. In my company, okay. when I, in my company, when I, when there is a different with the sindicato, it's saying union. Oh yes, union. Okay. Uh, uh, when where is a uh, different when the the union about any problem? We agree on how to solve them with mutual agreement. Uh, we use uh, this question, the table. Uh, we obtain commitment, 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 commitment to complete with what was agreed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Only. Okay. Very good. All right. Very, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. All right. Thank okay. you, Mauricio. Okay. okay. Anybody else would like to share? Anybody? Come on, guys. Anybody would like to share? No. Um, uh -huh. In my in my case, teacher is a little bit difficult. Uh, I work for I work sorry from my house all the time, so I don't go to the site. So in my case, my boss never show up. I have maybe six months, and I don't see him and hear them <laughs> so just i i know me, i am doing my job very well because they don't fight at me just for the moment <laughs> but i think maybe the way from my boss is a boy because <laughs> never show up i think they never show up never show up six so months and i don't remember her voice or her face. Okay. 
Okay, okay, very good. All right, interesting. So avoidance. Yeah, that's that's also a um that's a, a what's it called um a style that that is very common. Many people um many people uh, decide to avoid instead, right? Okay. Um just to have a question. Um, Wendy, are you going to show us something? Wendy? We can see your credential, Wendy. I know what is your password now. <laughs> Wendy? <laughs> ¿Nos va a enseñar algo? O... <laughs> oh, here we stop. All right. Okay. Thank you, Wendy. No problem. Don't worry. It's okay. All right. Um, anybody else want to share? But not the screen for mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, Wendy. We're don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> We're just teasing you. Yeah, it's only that. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> Anybody else want to share? Me teacher. Okay, wonderful. Carlos. <laughs> okay, I want to share an experience that I had last year. Okay. I remember I was hiding for a company uh -huh. as a assistant of taxes. So we had to talk with a director or principal from from one city in the in the Libertad department. So okay. I'm not going to tell the name. So okay. I remember we started the meeting and I remember I was talking as a technical way and I was telling that my representative in this case was Agrigians Agravius. And so I was talking, I was just trying to, to, to tell him and that that my my represent was was in a in a difficult way. So I remember the first thing that he said was I am the principal here, I am the director. And so here I decided what's happening and what doesn't happen in the city. And, and so the situation started to become very awfully, right? Because mm -hmm. He was talking as a political person that he is, and I was trying to explain our situation because in this case I pay uh, from from the company way, and we talk a technical. So I remember he told me that he is the principal to April thirty from next year. So the last one that we talk in the meeting, so that me and my company that I was represented, we are waiting for this for this date to go and talk with another principal because surely he is going out. And, and I guess that he is in a candidate for a next competition. So we are waiting this moment for to go uh, again and, and talk with a new principal or a new director from this city. I'm not going to tell which city, but it's one small city in Libertad. It, it oh. was a man, it's not a woman. <laughs> it's not a woman, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so okay, it's it's good to know. It's that's, not a that's that experience. <laughs> okay, okay. So so this is still a, a present conflict. Is that correct? It's it's the conflict is still happening. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. because it is when when a company was mm -hmm. determined by a taxes that doesn't respect the, the law from El Salvador. And so they do it the scene as a old way, and old way that when the 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 public funcionaries believe that they are old, and now the timers are other. Now you have to go uh, respecting the jurisprudence and the doctrine legal from El Salvador. You cannot go, you cannot be un, up of the law. 
and either under you have to do the scenes on on, on way yeah did you say the jurisdiction yes ah, okay okay yeah mm -hmm. okay interesting eric interesting okay all right thank you thank you for sharing and sharing enough but not too much <laughs> all right okay yeah very good very good okay um all right wonderful so we're going to move on to the next part um and so i have a question for you guys everybody gets angry once in a while some people more than others um are you able to handle anger well? Do you consider yourself that you're able to handle anger well? Or is it very difficult for you to handle your anger? Being honest. Can you control your anger well? Or is it very difficult to control it? It's okay. I mean, we're not judging here. We're just discussing. Mm, in my case, I think is uh something the whole people have to do, uh, control the their own hungry. So anger. angry, sorry, angry. anger, a anger, anger, mm -hmm. anger. Uh, the own anger. So. Uh, I think I can control it. It depends where it was, where where I am. So if I am with someone like my family, no, I, I can control it. But if I am with uh, my boss or maybe another important person, uh -huh. yeah, I can control it all, all the time because we have to be careful with uh, with the with the appearance so it's not necessary my boss knows what kind the of people i am when i am ang angry angry okay okay so it for you then it depends on depends the situation okay depends the situation okay yeah, excuse me uh, how do you write anger I don't know anger? what is the the word right. Oh yeah, sure. I'll write in the chat. Anger. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what do you guys think? Personally, and like I said, we're not here to judge. We're just talking about. What's your reaction to anger? Do you handle it well? Is it hard for you to handle it? Do you have to, do you have to make a big effort to control yourself but, but then you control yourself? How do you find that you work with anger? Mhm. Mm Nobody wants to share. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's we're not the situation. <laughs> yeah. It's depend the situation. I think, it's in my opinion, I think that I I able to to handle anger, but uh, in in is in, in different situation maybe no you you don't have uh, the control or. Or that that situation, but in 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 the in the job, I think that yes, in my in my in my case, in my opinion, I able to hand, to handle anger in my job. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So for you, it's 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 possible to handle the anger at your job. In other situations, yes. not so much. It depends because it's, imagine with your brothers or your sister, is no, you fight it with them or something like that. But it depends. It depends because depends the problem, depends the, the situation. But in the jobs, all 
the common situation is your co-workers or your boss is you have to keep the <laughs> your mind quiet and you, you have to try to solve the problem right yeah yeah mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And that's, and that's, and that's fair enough. Yeah. You're absolutely right. So it really depends on who you are. You have the, the conflict with, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The conflict and the confianza and the trust that Top you confidence. have. Yeah. The confidence because it's my brother. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or, okay. Or maybe it depends the situation, I think. Okay. But, mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So where you are and who it's with. Okay, fair enough. Now, have you ever tried to solve a conflict in different ways? Like you've tried everything, but you haven't been able to solve it? Like you've tried all different methods, but you still can't solve it. Have you ever had that happen to you? Yes, no. Has that has this ever happened to you? No. Nobody has ever had that situation happen to them that you are you have a conflict, you try everything you can possibly think of and the and still no positive results. Has that ever happened to you? Jose Carlos, I know you have a story. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in my case, I handle a team. They are 10 co-workers. And so uh -huh. sometimes there are difficult situations. And right. so sometimes when the things are going, yeah, uh, I am uh, really angry. Uh, I, I schedule a meeting and then I say, I need you and you and different time in the same time but so but i tell them i need you think twice what are you going to tell me both think twice because that situation cannot happen anymore and so i, I don't need that you think with your mind if you are furious keep a moment and think twice what are you going to try to explain me and, and so I, I try to manage the situation in a best way there are different, different, sometimes are different problems, but are the same person. Sometimes, I guess, sometimes yellows between them. Uh, those is uh, those are are the the principal situation that that one want to be better than other, and so that cannot happen in a team in a team. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When situations like this are happening, I I schedule a meeting and I tell them think twice. What are you trying to explain? I'm happy, but I am sometimes I when I have to be ang angry, I, I do it. Angry. Angry. Yeah, yeah, angry. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Very very good. What about the rest of you? Has that ever happened to you? You've tried everything possible and nothing happened. Not nothing nothing works. Nobody wants to share. You're just being sh too shy. Oops. Should I just pick and choose? I want to hear Wendy. Wendy, have you ever had that happen to you? That you've you have a conflict and you've tried everything, it doesn't work. Wendy? Are you there? Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Hi. Have you ever had that happen to you where you've had a conflict and you've tried to solve it like 101 ways, but it doesn't work? Mm. 
Do you understand what I'm asking you? Yeah, teacher. Yeah? Has that ever happened to you? No. No? No. You, you always solve the problem. No remember, teacher. Oh, okay. You can't remember. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now, um, now we've talked, discussed a little bit about that. Um, let's talk about the way, the steps, better said, the way or the steps that you take usually to solve a problem. Okay. Um, what are the, um, the strategies that you should implement? Okay. Um, let me share this with you. You see this? Yes. Okay. All right. So we have a few strategies here to solving a problem. First strategy is never assume. Define acceptable behavior through a published collection of best practices that encourage collaboration. Okay, so in other words, um, tell people, uh, define, make a definition of what is acceptable behavior. And how are you going to do this? By publishing something to make like maybe like a book, a booklet that says what, what is acceptable and what isn't. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Um, so, um, okay. The other one is identifying areas of conflict and intervening in a decisive manner. Okay, so we have um, identifying what are the conflicts and deciding which one is um, the best way to go about it. Okay, so we decide this one, this one, this one. Okay, next strategy, understand subordin uh, subordinates motivation motivations prevent conflict by making decisions in the best interest of subordinates. Okay, so subordinates, do you, do you guys understand the word subordinates? It's very similar to Spanish. Do you know, you understand subordinates? Yeah, subordinate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so people that are mm -hmm. under, people, under you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so understand their motivations. Right. So understand the, what 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 motivates the subordinates and uh, prevent conflict by making decisions in the best interests of the subordinates. So try to figure out what is the best way that I can help. Um, what is their their interest and how I how can I meet their interest? Then we have using conflict as an opportunity for growth. If addressed properly, different points of view are a tool to stimulate innovation and learning in the workplace. So in other words, thinking conflict is not bad. Conflict is not an, a bad thing. Conflict is just an opportunity to be able to grow, right? If we address things in a good way, properly, then we can stimulate innovation, learning, so it's good. So I want you to think your style. What what do you think? What are the things that, what are the strategies that you usually implement? Okay.
Okay. Have you identified what are your strategies? Yeah. Have you been able to identify? Yes, no. Yeah, okay. So what I'm gonna ask you guys to do now is you're going to be, um, now I'm gonna put you back in the same groups as you were before. And you're going to be discussing with your group, what are your strategies? Personally, what are your strategies? Maybe you only use one strategy. Maybe you use two or three, or maybe you use them all or neither of them. Maybe use a different strategy, okay? But I want you to discuss with your group or with your partner or group, I don't know, depends. Um, what are the, the strategies that you use? Okay, got it? Yes, the future. Okay, just a moment. I'm gonna send you the image in the group. All right, guys, my computer is really slow today. I think it I think it thinks it's it's uh Friday. It doesn't want to cooperate with me today. Oh wow, it is slow. I wish to share that Friday today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Okay. It's getting there. It's getting there. Yeah, it's so slow. Okay. It's supposed to have gotten there. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna take you back to your party to your original groups. And I'm gonna let you discuss. Okay. Here we go. Hello, Osman. Hello, Carlos. Okay. Um, review the situation, right? Okay. For example, number one, never assume definitely acceptable behavior through a publisher collection of best practice that encourage collaboration. What is your opinion?
Uh, Josman, mm -hmm. you can share off the screen. And the WhatsApp group. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's a, it's a similarity uh, and the, the different uh, definition the, the avoid, accommodate, compromise, collaborate, complete is a, a similar uh, different situation and conflict in, in my job and your job. Mm -hmm. And similar. Uh, for example, in this case, is a, a practice. Uh, for example, uh, in this case, the first, first opinion or question uh, is important. Uh, accept the the opportunity in the job, and for example, in the in my job, is the new process of the the factoring is electronic. Um, in the capacitation, uh, all okay. In the really in the practice, uh, the C problem, the system problem, the credit problem, the uh, department uh, the, and cash. Um, in the capacitation, uh, all okay. In this moment, I'm problem. Because it's important the communication the different department and accept up the, the the structure and and identify opportunity. Right? Um, More no yep. Sorry, uh, we don't we usually say we don't say capacitation but training. Ah uh, training, okay. Mm -hmm. Training. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Yeah. For example, this is, this is the moment in my job. And today, very complicated. And, and this day, uh, pro, uh, this minute, the, the problem and the fluid uh, process, because it's important the communication of different departments. Okay. Uh, in my case, it's a si similarity. Uh, uh, for example, in my case, I I have a, a quality control. Okay. Uh, the the problem is I stop the production because uh, the product I don't know I don't know if it's quality the garment. Uh, for example. For example, uh, one garment uh, I have Hello? Hello, Miss. What happened? Hello? Hi. You guys finished? No yet, because we we discuss about the, the different situations, mm -hmm. and uh, we say the the most common uh, method by yeah. companies applied to resolve problems is a uh, info put a focus in the areas of the conflict. Yeah, some situations are common on our job. Okay. All right. Um, are you guys ready? Have you? Have you um, talked about everything or do you need more time? Uh, 
I think we complete the, the discussion. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I'll see you guys in the main room then. Okay. All right, guys and girls. Um, all right, so since we are talking about strategies and responses, let's talk about what you consider to be healthy and what is unhealthy response. Can you tell me if you can see my screen? Yes, Tisha. Wonderful. Okay, so it says, if a co-worker speaks ill about me, I will be ready to talk things out, to forgive and forget. Is this healthy or unhealthy? If a co-worker, so somebody I work with, speaks ill about me, so speaks badly about me, I will be ready to talk things out to forgive and forget. Is See? healthy? Healthy. Is healthy. Okay, everybody understands the concept here? Yes. yes. Yeah. It's okay. healthy. Yes. Yeah, it's definitely healthy. Good. If my manager is too demanding, I will get angry and irritable to others. Is this healthy? Unhealthy. 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 Mm, yeah, I agree. It's unhealthy. If one of my subordinates bullies another, I will convince him to compromise without imposing a punishment. Healthy. 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 Healthy? Yes. yes. Okay. So no punishment. Okay. Whenever there is conflict in the office, the boss will pretend nothing is happening. Unhealthy. Unhealthy. Healthy. You sure? Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely yeah. not healthy. Okay. <laughs> huh? And yeah. Or he is healthy, but they go work at Well, not really. In the end, he is going to pay for it. Yeah. In the end, anything, anything that you avoid, that you shouldn't avoid, in the end comes to bite you. <laughs> Have you ever heard that expression? It comes back to bite you. So it's like you can't get rid of it. It will it will come and it will do harm to you. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Okay, let's do the other ones. Oops. Oh, that's it. Sorry. That was it. All right, you guys understand then. Um, yeah, you understand a healthy and unhealthy behavior. So notice, notice that in these sentences, the there is a, a condition and a result from the condition. Did you notice that? So what is which one is in the sentence here? Which one is the condition? If a coworker spends ill speaks ill about me, I will be ready to talk things out, to forgive and forget. Which one is the condition? Condition. 
the if first the first sentence if a coworker speaks about me good okay so if a coworker speaks ill about about me that part is the condition and the result I would be ready to talk things mm -hmm. out. I'll be ready to talk things out, to forgive and to forget. Good. In the second one, which one is the condition? If a manager is too demanding, I will get angry and irritable to others. If my, my manager is too demanding. Good. Yes, the if sentence manager... with a close if. Yes. Sen not the sentence, but the, the clause with the if or or the if clause mm -hmm. so yes if my manager is too demanding actually i should change the color okay and which one is the con the the result therefore i will get angry and irritable to others Good. I will get angry and irritable to others. Mm -hmm. In the set, in this third one, if one of my subordinates bullies another, I will convince him to compromise without imposing a punishment. Which one is the condition? If one of my subordinates bullies another. Excellent. And what is the result? I will convince him to compromise without imposing a punishment. Right. I will convince him to compromise without imposing a punishment. And in the last one, whenever there is a conflict in the office, the boss will pretend nothing is happening. Which one is the condition? Whenever there is Whenever. conflict in the office. Yes, very good. Whenever there's conflict in the office. Oops. Okay. And which one is the result? Which one the is the result? Will, be, will pretend nothing is happening. Yes, correct. So in other words, the result can only happen if the condition happens. So we need to have the condition to happening for the result to happen. The, res the result will not happen. It, it will not happen if the first part doesn't happen. Okay, so I want you to notice a few things about, about these sentences. First of all, what do they start, what does the condition start with? Look at the condition. Yeah. That's right. It starts with, with if. Or whenever. Or whenever. Very good. Okay. If or whenever. And how do you separate these two? With okay. comma. With comma. By comma. Exactly. Very good. We separate it with a comma. Notice they all have a comma. Okay, so basically what happens is, what we're saying is this condition has to happen. The condition that is in the box has to happen. And then the result will be either in the future or in the present. Okay, one of the two. Okay. Are you sure? Future. Yeah. It, it can be actually in both. It can it can be either in the present or in the future. Okay. It can be in the present or the future. Um now 
It is, however, possible. Well, actually, no, let me, let me leave it there. I'll leave it the explanation there because I'm gonna move on to the next part, which is the grammar explanation here. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Let's read it together. So can, can I have somebody read this for me? This part right here, a volunteer, anybody? Volunteer, please. Good night, teacher. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Mirna. Okay, the first paragraph, yes? Yes, the first part here. <clears throat> Use the first conditional if plus simple present will plus infinitive or if plus simple present modal plus infinitive to talk about situation which have a result in the present or the future. Okay, good. So this is what we call the, thank you by the way, Mina, excellent. So this is what we call the first conditional. And the first conditional is basically there's a condition and there's a result. And the result can either be in the present or it can be in the future, okay? And how are you going to make, what's the structure that you're going to be using? The structure is this one. Um, if, plus a simple present. And notice there's a comma there, plus will, plus the infinitive. Another structure we could use that is also acceptable is if plus a simple present, and then notice there's a comma, plus a modal, plus infinitive, okay? So one of those two, you can choose one of those two. In reality, it's actually the same. This It's really the same because will is a modal auxiliary. Okay, Do you, guys, you guys know that, right? Will is a modal auxiliary. So it's it's pretty much the same thing. So, so basically this is the structure. If plus simple present plus modal plus infinitive, the same thing. So, um, can I have volunteers help me with these two sentences? A volunteer with these two. Just reading, that's it, just reading. I will try. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Um, if an argument is out of control in the office, I will try to help my coworkers calm down. Mm -hmm. And then? Next one, okay. Uh, if I see an employee bullying a coworker, I will tell the manager. Excellent, thank you. So notice that we start Right now here we have the if, right? So we have if and if. And then, um, then it says here the simple present. And here we have the simple present. And here we also have the simple present. Then it says here will. So we have will and the infinitive, which in this case we do. You have to tell and try. Is that pretty clear? Pretty simple? Yeah, it's clear. Yeah? Okay, good. Now I need a volunteer to help me read this part here. This, this box. This one right here. 
Okay, thank you, Mauricio. Okay. I will try to help my coworker calm down is an argument is out of control in the office. I will tell the manager if I see an employee bullying a coworker. Thank you, Mauricio. Bravo, very good. So wait a minute. This is the same, these are the same sentences. This one and this one are the same sentence, right? Did you notice? Yeah. This one and this one are the same sentence. Same. Right? It's the same sentence. The only thing that changes here is the order. Okay? So in this yeah. case, we just we just changed the order, which was instead of putting if plus simple present, comma plus will plus infinitive, we started with the will first. We started with the will which is here, oops, um, we started with will, then we have the infinitive, try, okay. And then we have the if. And then the simple present, right? And the same thing here. We started with the will. Plus the infinitive tell. And then we had if. And the simple present. So it's the same. This one, this one, these two also are the same. Okay. It's just basically we yeah. reverse them. But there's another big important difference between these two. What what else do you notice is different? The different the, hmm? the position of the if, the condition. The comma disappear. Yeah, exactly. The comma disappeared. So in other words, you can you can use you can put the if clause first and then the result, or you can put the result and then the if clause or the, the conditional. But if you decide to put the result first or the, the we're going to eliminate the comma why so here there's a comma in here miss, too mm -hmm. miss sorry maybe i am missing maybe i miss something but yeah i see something similar as uh, the active and the passive voice because you change the situation and it's almost the same result. Mm. I'm not sure what you mean. Um, so basically all, all I'm saying is here that there are two clauses. Yes. Okay? There are two clauses. And I can decide if I put the first clause if if which clause goes first, basically, I can decide which clause. So I can decide. There are two clauses. The, the first clause is the the condition, and yes. the second clause is the result. So I can put condition and then result, or I can switch them and I can put result and then condition. Okay. Okay. It's exactly the same in Spanish. I can say. For example, um, eh, si gano la lotería, compraré una mansión. O compraré una mansión si gano la lotería. It's the same thing. The same, the same idea is expressed. The exact same idea. 
The only difference is that in grammar, grammatically speaking, when you write it, if you decide to put the condition first, then we have to put a comma. That's the only difference. And the reason that we have to put a comma is because there is a connector. The connector between the two clauses is the word if. Valga la redundancia. If, mm -hmm. um, if you put the word if in the middle, then you have the connector if that connects, right? But okay. if you decide to put the conditional first, the if is at the beginning, not in the middle. So there's nothing that connects the, the condition with the result. And that's why we put a comma to connect the two results, the, the two conditions, uh, sorry, the two clauses. Thank you. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm, yes. Yeah. So the the condi the the the, co the comma is connecting the two clauses. In here, we don't need the comma because the the word if is connecting the two clauses. Do you see that? Yes. We use if instead of comma. Yes. Correct. That is correct. Okay. All right. Does that sound good for everybody? Is this pretty clear? Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop there right now. And we're going to take attendance because our time is up. Okay. Um, okay, here we go. Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. Present teacher. Wonderful. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Present, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Can we see your face? Carlos Alberto, can you turn on the camera so we can see the, your face? Where are you? Se me perdió? No, it disconnected. Mm. Oh, no, no, there you are. Carlos Alberto. You're there. Okay. All right, thank you. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. No, sorry, Carlos, sorry, Carlos Mauricio Menjibar, la próxima. Carlos Present. Mauricio, okay, wonderful, thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Wonderful. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Excellent. E Ulises Torres Torres. Present. Excellent. Eliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Eliana Rebecca Carpio. Okay. Jorge Antonio Sanchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Jose Carlos Argueta Romero.
José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present miss. Excellent. Um, Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present. Excellent. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, got it. Thank you. Mayra Cedi Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Mayra. No, Mayra. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present. Thank you. Uh, Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Okay. Ricardo yeah. Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Sandra Vigaín Bonilla Cano. Sandra Abigail. No. Eh, Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez Guinea. Present. Thank you. As eh, Wendy Marisela Ramirez Guevara. Present, dicha. Okay, thank you. Mina Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Present. Excellent. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Present. Excellent. Armanda Leonela Alzamora Miranda. Amanda. <laughs> Present teacher. Okay. Thank you very much. And that will be all for today, guys. So thank you very much. Yes. And yes. When you tell my name, I, I have off my microphone. Oh, okay. Jose Carlos Argueta Romero. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. So that will be all for today, you guys. Uh, please continue working on the platform. Um, and um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Same time, same channel. Okay. Bye-bye, no, no, no. guys. See you. Bye. Bye-bye. Sorry, teacher, can I ask you about the the platform? Because of I course. have some problem. Because I'm going to try to share the, the screen. For example, in that case, I don't know in the the the, the topic that we we uh -huh. see at that last minute ago. Uh, we have to type with this or separate I, I i don't i don't understand because all of them is incorrect but if you send she will receive i think that this is the the, the sentence but when i type in in the in the box <laughs> i don't know what is the 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 way the best way to to do okay let me just check how it is in the platform. So just give me a moment. Give me a minute while I check. Sometimes it's just a matter of, it's like, I mean, you, yeah. you seem to have gotten the idea as you said sometimes um for whatever reason yes maybe i i think that maybe is the, the the way that we mm -hmm. use or maybe we have to separate with comma but i don't know <laughs> which which um 2.5 yes it's 2.5 yeah 2.5 yes number one
But in the instruction, say complete the conditional sentences type. Uh, I think that is a la rayita. I don't know. <laughs> By putting the verbs into the correct form, yeah. So apparently, you have to write, you have to type the whole thing. Oh, the whole sentence. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I will try and I and I say tomorrow something yeah. if I can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, try 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 with the first one right now. Okay. Just to make sure that we've gotten it correct. Receiving it tomorrow. Point. Yeah. <laughs> it accepts. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. There you have go. to write the all, the whole sentence, but but yeah. very confused because the the same type. I think that. The verb, just the verb, because the yeah, verb seems to I know, to I know. Verb. Sometimes it can, sometimes they just ask for the the pure answer. Sometimes you have to write the whole thing. Uh, so in this okay, case, thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, You're yeah. Welcome. Thank you so much, and yeah. have a good night. Thank you. You too. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye. See you. Bye. -bye. See you tomorrow.